Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Void Stranger, where I'm going to try to pick up more of the crystals, and so I will meet you on one of the puzzles that has one. Alright, there was a long series of easy puzzles there that didn't have any shards. I think that might have still been like part of the chase sequence with the person who steals your magical staff. And so I just wanted to go ahead and come back on camera for this. So I've never tried inscribing that one yet, so there's a number of things I need to inscribe. And this one I cannot break. And I presume now we'll start seeing some shards again? So let's see what happens. At least there's locust idols, I haven't seen those in a while either. And right, there's the guy who grows mustaches or glaring eyes or whatever when I use my staff, right? And so if I do this... No, a different type of statue. Those come later. So the horn statue, is that the one that if I kill all the enemies on the screen it disappears or something? That sounds right. <laughs> Let's imagine that's the case. Uh, if I want to get this locustidal... That doesn't look super easy. Um... Yeah, I don't see how to do it right now, so I'm just gonna leave that one behind. He is standing on something, probably one of the shards that I want. So I need to get him away and me still be able to go places, alright. Yeah, he is standing on it. And I'm only going to have so many paths over and back. So what's my strategy here? I'm not sure. Will this just work? Yes, because I can do that. Cut him off. Actually, that didn't help me, because I can't put this back down, can I? I've gotten myself in a pickle. Is there any way I can still get this? I don't think so. Because now he's right on top of me. Yeah. Alright. So let's try again. I need to somehow trap him or move the stairs first or something something. How would I pick that up? Feels like this is the only start. And this seems to be the only continuation. Oh, I can pick up a thingy here. This could be good. Which enables me to go here and take tempos and watch him walk past. Which means I can pick this up. Now I have it. He's going to walk past again. There we go. Okay. That was a solution. And I got my locust back. Great. So I'm back up to ten. And remind me... How many, um, what doodles I have? 16, and we're going for 24, as I recall. All right. Uh, oh, I remember dying on this one a number of times because I failed to anticipate. So I'm pretty sure I can start like this. And now if I went up, I would just be one. I think that's fine. Uh, no, because I... Uh, it might still be fine. Nope, I ran out of time. Okay. Rats. So is there a way that I can go faster? Yes, I can wait until the right moment here. 
You just turned around, so now I'll be just two steps behind you. And that's still not fast enough. Hold on. Uh, how do I get a tempo here? There is a way, I'm sure. All right, there we go. Use my staff to get the tempo. Got it. Um, okay, there's no crystal shard here. I will see you in a moment. All right, a long stretch without any shards, but now there's finally another puzzle that seems to have one, and this one looks like it's going to be difficult. How do I kill the top guy who I think is concealing a shard? I guess if I walk south twice and then pick up and put down, that would kill him. And then I can probably finagle something else. Okay, so he's dead. There is indeed a shard there. I need to somehow be able to pick that up. That's gonna be... Hmm, not easy. I think I want this so that I have the ability to like take some tempos here. That would enable me to do this, for example. And let's see. I can definitely... I think this will work. I kill the bottom guy like this. If I go here and pick this up, that'll kill him. And I can put this back down. Uh, it's still not quite enough, is it? Because he broke the pathway I needed, and I don't think there's any more blocks I can pick up. Rats. Okay, so that almost did it. What could I have done differently? Guess we'll take a death here. And so... I might see how I can do it differently. I forgot to... oops. Well, I've already screwed this up. I don't think this is recoverable. Yeah, it's definitely not recoverable. Okay. So let's not forget at the beginning that I need to tempo by using my staff here and then putting it back down. Then I do want to pick this up. I do want to put this here, but now what if I pick this up? He'll die sooner, but I still need to walk there. I should walk across this one is what I should do. And then I'll have everything I need? Yes, I should have walked there. Because then I can pick this up and put it back down here. And that's the key move. However, I still haven't killed this guy. Oh no, I still haven't killed this guy. Can I kill this guy? Can I still kill this guy? And how did I forget to kill him? I'm not sure. I might still be able to kill him. Oh, I'm a dummy. I just walked right in front of him. Okay, that was almost a solution. But I need to make sure that I kill the other guy. So I want to pick this up. I have to put it here, so I'm pretty sure I have to do that. Right, I can kill that guy just by doing that. Then do exactly what I did. Which is walk over here. That kills that guy. I put this down and now I've got a path. Okay, spent some locusidals, but we succeeded. Hooray for me. So long as I have at least one by the time I get to floor 143, I think it is. I'll be fine. Because that's where I'll need to stand in front of a smirking statue in order to skip past the big head, assuming that that part has not changed. So I'm not too worried about the look style count. This one I remember spending a lot of lives on, actually, so let's be careful. I need to kill these guys, and one of the things I remember is that the last guy... Like, once you kill the last guy, uh, then all the rest are going to go away, and so that helps a whole lot. <laughs> 
all the statues are going to go away. So I need to just kind of keep that in mind. Okay, so... And I can push statues and holes right. Oops, I didn't mean to push that one to the right. Uh, that I just accidentally did a key press. I didn't mean to. Um... Is this still solvable, given what I have done? I'm not sure. But I do see that I can do this, which I think is valuable to me. I think that is valuable to me, because I think I can do this, 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 there we go. And then this guy's easy to kill. Okay, I did it. Phew. All right. It's there's a lot of learning like having just gone through these puzzles once or twice like I feel a whole lot stronger at the game than the first time I went through. Um and so that part is cool. Are any of these that's sitting on glass? That's sitting on glass. That's sitting on glass. So there is not a um a bonus doohickey that I'm trying to pick up on this level, as far as I can tell, so I just need to get to the exit. And... I did not anticipate that problem. <laughs> so I guess what we will do now... Um, is to try to rescue the Locust Idol while there aren't any enemies around, since now will be the most convenient time to do so. I don't see a way to get this Lucas title. So I think I'm just out of luck here and I need to keep one of these guys alive. Was there a piece of glass or something at the beginning? There's the statues. So yeah, I guess if I keep guys alive, something, something, something. Alright, what's the best way to keep this guy alive? And there was a piece of glass up in the upper left. So I need to get the snake to safety soon. So let's do that. And then let's just keep him over there while I kind of plan out the rest of the route, if we can. Actually, I can do... well... Yeah. I can do this. Kill the snake. And then there's my exit. Uh, can I push the statues around somehow? No, you'd have to kill the bim. Yeah, I don't know if I can get this little casidal and get to the exits. In any case, let's not worry about the little casidal. Um, all right, let me find another shard. Okay, here's a shard, and I remember this puzzle being a challenge. I needed to like, oh boy. There's a statue, and there's a mouth monster. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this one. I don't remember the strategy offhand. I think maybe I start over here. Yeah, because I could do this and kill both of them. And that's a very good move. While I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and pick this up. But now I have to deal with the mouth monster and these other dudes. And I don't immediately see how I did any of that. Being able to push the statue around would be nice. But there's a lot of guys who need to die. And so what direction do I want to push any of these things? Uh, 
I see something good. Okay, so if I get you over here in the corner, that enables me Does it? I can push the statue left or right, or even down. If I pushed it down, I could kill the mob. Yeah, that'll work, actually. So if I push it down, then I can kill the mouth monster like this by just baiting him to fall in the hole. And then... Seems to me I could do this. I would want you to be standing here. I could push this over here and over here. And then I'm done with this thing. Yeah, okay. I did it without taking any deaths. Hooray. I'm still smart. Shard get. Da 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 da. This is a 6x6. Six six. And if I look carefully, I can see what is glass and what is not. So future video editing, Brian, make sure you mark down this brand that I have not marked down before. That said, it seems like this puzzle is easy to solve. Uh, let's just double check. There's no shards on here, right? Yeah, all these glowing things are all bits of glass. I can see by looking carefully at the sprites and the uh, background tile. Okay, so I can just move on to the next level. And there is a shard on this screen, just to the left of the mouth monster. So we have work to do. So let's get to it. Let's pick up this. Um, mouth monster will die pretty naturally, but I might need him to die elsewhere, so let's be careful. Yeah, having him die to the right would preserve the most bits of glass for me, I think. So I think it's best for me- it did, oh, that takes away the statue, I don't want him to die. I did not think through the whole puzzle. Okay, so I have to keep him alive. I forgot. We're down to five locust shards, which is worrisome, but let's imagine that everything's going to turn out just fine. So I need to pick this up and put it back down. So he can stay alive for one turn there. And then I'm going to need to pick up the shard from the north somehow. It seems like the only thing I can grab to have on my person right now is a piece of glass which is acceptable. So he's still alive. I can put this down here so that I can grab... Oops! I forgot about the fact that I was breaking the glass. I was going to step back to the left onto the glass, but I cannot do that. Um, I can probably still recover. Because I can do this. I need to keep you alive. Right. This is tough. Um, this might work, so I'm going to try it. Alright, you're still alive. I, however, have problems, because I need to push the statue north. And I don't think I have enough solid floor tiles to pull that off at this point. I'm going to pick up this one, even though I'm going to need it, and hope that I can finagle something. I don't know what I'm going to finagle here. I picked up the thing. Which means I'm currently carrying a piece of glass. And I need you to continue staying alive? What? I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, I can't go north, obviously. 
Yeah, I don't think I can pull this off now. So how would we get the shard? I still have five locust idols, so I can still give it a try. But I need to be careful. <laughs> Let's try it again. I definitely have to start with this, right? Yeah, I think this is the only start. So that feels like the only way I can begin. Now from here... I'm gonna go south of him and I need to make sure he stays alive. But I suppose I could do... Hmm. I could do this and get some more good flooring. That seems somewhat promising. <sighs> Let's try it. Yeah, this seems pretty good. Oh, I didn't think that through at all. Crap. I wasn't thinking about him. Is there any way I can rescue him elsewhere now? Probably not. It still might be possible. I have a lot of floor tiles to work with. So... I just need to build a floor for him and keep him safe. Oh man, but anywhere I keep him safe, he needs to be able to like move around in that quadrant something something dark side. Oh. This is tough to reason about. And which way do I want to move him right now? Suppose I moved him to the left. That seems pretty reasonable to me. And how far to the left would I want to move him? I think... I mean, he has a lot of space. If I just went and pushed the statue now... I would be in front of him so he'd move to the left. I would take a step so he'd move to the left. And I'd go up. But I need him to be somewhere where he's not gonna die. Also, I need to be carrying a piece of flooring so that after I push the statue out of the way, I'll be able to step where the statue is. So that's the current rub. Other than that, I think this is currently workable. And I think there's a solution to that. Because... Is this true? No, I can't take that piece. Mm. I can take this piece, I think. Hold on. That piece. No, I already had that piece. Hold on. <laughs> Come on, Brian. A uh, piece of glass would be sufficient. So, I think this works. So if I... Ah, oh, no. I'm already dead. Crap. I was going to pick up this piece of glass and I forgot that uh, he's already directly behind me. Ah, but I can do this. Here we go. This still works. So now he's right next to me. He still has space. 
I can put this bit of flooring down. The floor thingy is open. I just have to make sure I can get there. Ooh, can I get to the floor thingy and also pick up my whatchamadoodle? Yes! Because I just go pick up my whatchamadoodle. And then I can put down that piece of glass and get to the exit. Okay! <laughs> that was work. But we did it. There's an NPC here who I think I might have accidentally pushed into a hole previously, but is talk to a bull. So let's make sure we do the talking to this time. A young girl sits on the floor. As your eyes meet, she winces. What are you looking at? Are you one of those creeps? You tell her you're not going to hurt her. I'm not afraid of you. Leave me alone. The girl pouts, ignoring you. She sneakily gazes up to you, but averts her eyes soon after. <laughs> you try to comfort her. Who do you think you are? My mom? Leave me alone already. Dots. Uh-oh. I talked again. I said leave me alone. <gasps> she pushes me off. Wow. But then she disappears. So that's like a one-time bonus getting killed or something? Okay, we got to witness new content. I'm running out of locust titles, which is worrisome. Also, I need to kill all the monsters in here? How am I going to ever do that? I can push a statue into the larva. But in order to reach the exits, I'll need to kill the other two Whatcha Doodle dudes. And that means I need to coerce both of them and then get them. Mm. Is there some other solution that's simpler that I'm not seeing right now? Hold on. Um, I don't see a solution that's simpler. I need to kill everybody. Also, I wonder if the NPC would have counted as an everybody for these statues that disappear once everybody's dead. So that's interesting to think about. How can I ever get the two guys on the left to collide with one? How did I do this before? Like, I got past this floor before. Another thing I could do is open up a hole in front of the smirking statue and step ahead. Because I do still have locust idols. Do I have a plan for killing these guys? Like, I, I must have done it before, right? So what would I have done? Okay, I think I possibly see a way to do it. Which is, there's a 3x3 three three area here uh, that I can get those guys trapped in since they're susceptible to such things. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do this. Let's just get one of them for now. Oh, I can't park him in the corner. What am I thinking? Because I can't get him to come down here. If I step in front of him, I'm just dead. And there's no other way to entice him to move, because he can't see through the blocks or whatever. So I would have had to kill them both over there. If I push this down, it's on top of the exit, and I can never get the exit back. If I push this down, I can never get to the exit, because there's things in the way unless I kill everything. And if I push this to the right, I also can't get to the exits any way I can think of. And if those dudes are both there... Oh yeah, I see maybe how I could have... Do I? No, how could I have possibly killed them... Yeah, I don't see what to do, so I'm going to choose to do this. Even though it's going to spend all my locust idols and put me... Oh, wait. This will bring me... 
to 142, there won't be any other Locust Idols, and I won't be able to advance past 143. So no, I can't do that. That would be bad news. Crap. So I need to figure out how to solve this puzzle. Um, I might even go review old video, because right now I'm just I'm not thinking of it. All right, I might have just discovered some cheese. I exited the game so that I could go review video. There is a simple solution to this puzzle. When I came back into the game, it reset the room state. So I had been in a failed state. But it seems that exiting the game and coming back in resets the room state with no apparent penalty. And so if I get desperate, that's cheese that I might use at some point. In any case, there's a space right here that I can use for taking tempos. Which means... Then I can run back here and look at how nicely this works. Boom! Those guys kill each other! Hooray! And as a result, I can kill off the rest and continue onwards and downwards to a cutscene that we're just going to continue to skip as we do. And so here, you look like you were standing on a shard, which means I need to get up there and you guys are going to harass me. And so what is an appropriate way to deal with such things? I'm not sure. I think for now I will start with this and give myself plenty of flooring to work with. And is there any clever way I can get both of you guys out of the way? I think actually if I do this, one of them will come this way, and I can cut him off there. And then the other one... I think I could do this. Great, and he cut himself off. Great. Okay, so I did a thing. I picked up a what do you call. There's a badly damaged mural that... Hopefully I've taken a screenshot of this, like we can't see all of it. And I forget, we can break this one open. Is this the one that had the ones and zeros behind it? Um, but I don't see any now, even on my screen. So it's not like a 60 hertz kind of thing or whatever. In any case, I've got my little shard thingy. And this level does not appear to have any shard medoodles. It's got a dark idol if you wanted to reset, I suppose. And then the next level is going to be where the big head is, right? Yes. Do you say the same thing? Yeah, it just talks about blocking the path. Okay. And I want to just spend one idol, ideally. So I'm going to push you in. And then I'll talk to you. So if I give him one... He wants more. So I can give him one more. And then I'm not going to give him any more because I'm down to one locust idol. And so now I will use it to fall in front of the smurfing statue and advance one basement to basement 144, correct? Yes. And there's already things afoot. Okay, the good news is... I can get a local style. <laughs> Alright, which is very good news indeed. And we get our first tutorial with this guy. And so, uh, mm, yeah, we got a problem. <laughs> We're symmetrical. And I need to go get that shard of a doodle. Obviously, I can get to the exit. How do I get rid of you? Like, we can't get any closer than that. And I don't see a way that I can pick up... Hmm. And I can't interact with stuff that's on your end, and interacting with stuff that's on my end doesn't really help. Hmm. 
I don't see how to do this one. There's no places that I can... <sighs> Could I have done something different right at the beginning of this puzzle, maybe? Well, let's find out using the cheese I just discovered. So I'll be right back. Okay, this reset us back to the beginning of the puzzle and we have the Loka shard. So we've already picked it up and so that chest will be empty. I don't see anything different I could do here. There is a glowy shard thing on the right hand side of the screen, which really suggests that there ought to be a way for me to get this. What could that possibly be? I know. I figured it out. I pick up some flooring. I press up. I open the chest. Oh! I got another locust title. That's an exploit. In any case, now I'm facing downwards after showing off what was inside the chest, which means I can do this. There we go. And he dropped off. Okay, so we discovered two important things. One, you can farm locust idols by opening up a chest with a locust idol, exiting the game, restarting the level, and doing it over and over again. That feels like an exploit, but I imagine that is somehow intended game design. So we're going to keep that in our back pocket. Second of all, I finally had an opportunity to use the fact that the opening a chest refaces you mechanic to reface me and do something interesting with it. So I'm super happy about that. Um, yeah. Okay. This is cool. Let's do another one of these puzzles, but then I should probably maybe call it a day. Um, so if I wanted to get the locust idol, like, I don't have to, but I probably have done it before. And I could just use the practice at this point. So I guess there is a way probably to swap places with him, I'm thinking. So... I can pick up this and, like, put it down here, for example. I could pick up this and put it over here, for example. I could pick up this and go here, but we still can't really swap a doodles here. So in order to do something not symmetric with you, you need to be witnessing different geometry than I am witnessing. I need to have flooring where you have a hole, for example. Ah, which I can do and kind of had already done, namely that. Great. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so I feel like I am well primed. And I have a few locust idols again in my pocket to hopefully prevent anything super horrible from happening. Um, yeah. So, we're making progress. I want to do one more puzzle. <laughs> So this guy is reversing me in both directions, and I need him to die. So I need to somehow take a tempo where he would not. And so what does that look like in this room? We're both going to break glass at the same moment. So can I cause a... Piece of glass. Mm. Also, I need to be able to get to the exit once it's all done. I just need to pick up a piece of flooring and then step on it after breaking some glass. That is the key to this puzzle. Uh, and then also still be able to get to the final exit. So don't go in the middle, ideally. And so in order to place a piece of flooring where there will be broken glass, I will need to uh, 
I see a way to do it. If I pick this up, I can go here. I lied. I don't yet see a way to do it. I should not have stepped here. That was already a mistake. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna use the cheese. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and here is what I intended to do, I think. Uh, what I intended to do doesn't work. <laughs> hmm. In that case, I see a new solution. I can pick this up and put it here in front of me. Now, if I step forward, he'll fall in a pit. Both of those thingies will die, and I will get to the exit. Yes. Okay, great. All right, well, we have some new interesting tools in our arsenal, and we'll continue to try to collect shards. We are currently at 21 of the 24 that are required to unlock the last memory, which is my current goal. So look forward to that. I'm going to say, I hope as always, that you all are having a great day. And I will see you again soon with more Void Stranger. For now, bye-bye.